hit reality show to real life politics. We've seen that Donald Trump has definitely proven that he knows how to perform for an audience. And he did that just today in Cleveland. Derek Waller is live along the lakefront downtown. Derek, even his arrival was quite a show. Yeah, this was all even set to music, all after his plane arrived at Burke Lakefront Airport this afternoon. But then he got on another aircraft to come here to the Great Lakes Science Center for an event with some supporters. It was all of two blocks away. As Donald Trump landed in Cleveland, Indiana Governor Mike Pence, his wife, and Trump's family were there to greet him. They walked a few feet before making brief statements, their first as the Republican Party's official presidential ticket. And I'm convinced what begins in Cleveland will end in the White House. But it's a road to Washington. They clearly have no plans of walking. Just to give you an idea of how close the airport is to the Science Center, you can actually see it right down there. I'm going to walk and time myself and see how long it takes. The walk down Marginal Road takes you up to East 9th Street. It's about three minutes at East 9th Street. And past the Rock Hall. And so the final time, a little more than seven minutes. That's how long it took for me to make that walk. But of course, practicality was never the point. Trump's helicopter cruised past Terminal Tower, an air show made just for the cameras. The grand landing, even set to the theme of the 1997 Harrison Ford hit, Air Force One. Get off my plane. New York Congressman Peter King told me this is what we can expect going forward. Tomorrow is going to be Donald Trump's show. You saw the show hit today. I think that's the way it'll be tomorrow night. And no word yet on how Trump is getting back to the airport, because I can tell you tonight, his helicopter is not here. Live in Cleveland, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.